What's poppin' Coog? Welcome back to Coog on the Clock. It is our last episode of 2021, sadly. Um, I just want to thank you guys so much for, you know, watching and supporting my show throughout the semester. Um, we'll definitely be back next semester, so don't worry. You're not losing me yet. Um, but yeah, to, you know, we, let's get, we got a Christmas show, you know, Christmas themed. Uh, today we got, we got uh, Trevor, Trevor Junt, he has returned. And we have Gunnar Miller. Um, yeah, let's get into the show. Before we go into our first topic, I'd like to apologize for not having a hat or anything. I have a ginormous head and ginormous hair, <laughs> so the hats don't really fit on my head. And uh, yeah, so there's that. There we go. Uh, well, uh, with that, um, first topic, we have the college football playoff picks. I said it right this time. Yeah. Um, so right now, the, the top four seeded uh, teams are Alabama at number one, Michigan at number two, Georgia at number three, and Cincinnati at number four. Um, so I, I believe we have, uh, who is it? Uh, Mich uh, Georgia and Michigan are playing in the Orange Bowl. Yep. And Cincinnati and Bama are playing in the Cotton Bowl. Yep. Um, and those two teams, uh, who have the winner of those two games, Booker and McFarland moment, are going to play in the national championship game. <laughs> so, um, take it away, Jeffrey. What, what do you got? Okay. Who, who, who do you have winning the national championship? So Alabama and Cincinnati. Right now, Alabama are 13 and a half point favorites. So that's two touchdown favorites. That's a lot. Um, for the first off, Bryce Young. Bryce Young is incredible. He, he's an incredible young talent. He, he's a great quarterback. He just won the Davey O'Brien Award for best, best quarterback in the nation. Mm -hmm. And around the time this comes out, he'll be winning the Heisman Trophy. He'll be, be handed the Heisman Trophy. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he's unstoppable. Uh, their own line is spectacular. Um, and, yeah, Cincinnati has a good defense. They have some really good young cornerbacks uh, in Ahmad Gardner and Kobe Bryant. But, like, Bryce Young throwing the ball to Jameson Williams and his other weapons, I think is unstoppable. Uh, Cincinnati has a really good quarterback, uh, Desmond Ryder, Ritter. He's not like, okay, he's not really good, but he's a, he's a decent quarterback. He leads the AAC in all-time uh, touchdowns. He also, so this season he had 3,190 yards, 30 touchdowns, and eight interceptions. Um, and I'm going to go back to Bryce Young. Bryce Young had 4,322 4, yards, 43 touchdowns, and four interceptions. So that's quite a difference. Um, I have Alabama winning this game 38-20. to 20. They're going to just sweep wow. the floor with them. Okay. Um, what about you guys? Well, for me, I have Bama beating Cincinnati. I don't see Cincinnati making this game close at all. If they can score above 14 points, I would actually be very impressed. <laughs> and the spread that you said, you said 13 and a half, correct? Yeah. That's really surprising because when Notre Dame played Alabama in the college football playoff, I think it was last year. I, I believe it was last year. Um, I was really surprised that it was the biggest spread in college football playoff history, which was 16 and a half. So that's very interesting. Like a team like Notre Dame, who's a little bit more well known in the college football playoff than um, Cincinnati. So that's pretty impressive on Cincinnati's part. I don't see them making this game close at all. So I have, as Trevor said, Alabama sweeping the floor with Cincinnati. All right. Uh, well, as we learned from the, the last episode that we talked about this, I'm a huge supporter of the underdog teams. Um, I, however, you know, I'm going to go realistically here. I don't think Cincinnati's going to win. However, I would love to see them beat Alabama. You know, that'd be great, great to see, great for the program. Honestly, great for the, I think the NCAA yeah, in general. It'd be the biggest upset in college football playoff history. Right, yeah. uh, that'd be amazing. Um, I fully expected you to pick Cincinnati. By the way, I thought you. Were gonna <laughs> I, I thought so too. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was going to make some outlandish pick. Yeah. For hey, Cincinnati. not yet, not yet. Um, uh, yes. Oh, great. <laughs> Can't wait for that. We got, I got Bama over Cincinnati, I'm going to say uh, 35 to 14. Okay. In the Cotton Bowl. And then Georgia and Michigan. You want to go first? Sure. Georgia and Michigan in the Orange Bowl. Um, first off, actually, I would like, since I am going first, I'd like an apology on yeah, camera. I thought about that earlier today, too. <laughs> I'd like an apology oh, on I camera forgot. about Michigan. So, so last <laughs> last time we were on the show together, Alex was like, oh, Michigan is making the playoffs. And I go, over Michigan State, you're, you're, you're a little bit there. You're a little bit crazy, buddy. And then it turns out Michigan uh, just kind of went on a run and destroyed everybody. So, right. Alex Huddleston. I, as Trevor Junt, would like to officially apologize 
for calling that oh take bad. Gosh. It turned out to be a great gosh. take. I appreciate it. Thank you. That's Thank you. that's the first apology he's ever gotten from me. So I mean, you should appreciate. Hey, you just witnessed history tonight. That was <laughs> history. That's, hey, Trevor doesn't have to buy me anything for Christmas. That's my Christmas present from him. Thank you so much. It's on tape. Uh, <laughs> that's on a good tape. gift. I'm keeping that in a flash drive somewhere. <laughs> okay. So, um, uh, I. Ah, Georgia versus Michigan. As much as I would, again, love to see Michigan win this. Um, I love Harbaugh. You know, it's – Georgia is an amazing de- – not, not, they just lost to um, – they, they lost to Alabama, right? Alabama Recently. the SEC championship. Right. So, I don't know if they're falling into this game backwards where it's like, you know, it's like, oh, sh- crap, we lost our first game of the season. And, you know, um, they're going to go against the Michigan and a team that they should beat. Realistically, on paper, statistically, they should beat Michigan in the Orange Bowl. But you know, there's, there's, I feel like there's a chance for Michigan to kind of use that, that, uh, that. Uh, what do you think? What do you I don't even know what the word is. Distraught from the distraught Thank from you, that, Georgia. Yes, distraught from losing, uh, losing to Alabama. I feel like they could use that to their advantage. Uh, but realistically, I think Georgia has us in the bag. I'm gonna say Georgia over um, Michigan, 42 to. 21. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I think it. I like you said. With I think Michigan's going to take advantage of Georgia. If you look at their whole entire season for Georgia, they wanted to win that SEC championship game. Mm-hmm. They have been used to Alabama just torturing them. Even in the national championship a couple years back, they have just they have never had a good number on Alabama. And they, this is the year they wanted to do it, and they they couldn't get it done in the SEC championship. I don't. I feel like Georgia is going to be very. It's still very stunned from it because. No one expected they had the best defense. Everyone was saying they had the best defense. Yeah. So it was very interesting to see that. So I think Michigan's going to not wipe the floor. I think it's going to be a very good game. But mm-hmm. I think Michigan can use that to their advantage and ultimately take this one from Georgia. I don't Ooh. know if I'm the only one who picked that, which I think I am. But, yeah, I'm going with Michigan. I believe I this is finally Harbaugh's year. I don't think this is outlandish. I would love to see Michigan. I would love to see Harbaugh win. Yeah. That would be awesome. It would be great. Uh, uh, Trevor, what about you? So I just want to look up Curry Puckett's like, record against uh, – Against Alabama, I don't know, I don't know, but anyway, uh, let's move on from that because I can't find it. Well, in the meantime, while he's re- researching it, uh, I have a Christmas tie on. <laughs> yeah, I do as well. Oh, oh, I've been beat. Put up, put up to your thing. It plays like nine different hey. songs. Hey. <laughs> this it's still going. I'm. <laughs> I know, right? What? That's it. There we go. <laughs> and Merry mine Christmas. is just some reindeer with Santa Claus. No music or nothing. Okay, I Thanks, found Dad. it. I found it. Good. <laughs> All right, intermission <laughs> over. Trevor John found his research. <laughs> okay. okay. Georgia versus Michigan. Georgia are seven and a half point favorites, so that's a touchdown favorite. Georgia has one of the best defenses in NCAA history. Well, they had until they played Bama, and they got destroyed by Bama. Mm-hmm. And Kirby Puckett is 0-3 all-time against his former head coach, Nick Saban. Um, and then um, Michigan's D-line is awesome. <laughs> Aiden Hutchison, what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at uh, just the hat. That's it. That's just so tight around your head. It is tight around it. It is, Oh, my gosh. It's like sucking my brain. <laughs> I'm sorry. You were talking. Go ahead. No, you're back. good. You're good. Uh, Mich- Aiden Hutchinson has 14 sacks on the season. He's a Heisman finalist. Uh, TJ Ojabo with four, 11 sacks. Um, and the running game in Michigan is great, too. Mm. Georgia has nothing special on their offense. Their quarterback, Stenson Bennett, like. <laughs> <laughs> with a name like Stetson Bennett, how far are you going to go in life? That's all oh I'm saying. Oh, my God. So I'm just saying. So I, Bro, I have, I have Michigan. calm down the personal attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Come down the first all time. I have Michigan squeaking by 28 to 27 as well. I'm, I'm in there with Gunner. Yeah. And right. then what about uh, you guys want to go to the, the finals? The, like, championship? the championship. So so yeah. our, based on our winners, uh, you know, I have Georgia and Bama. I think, uh, you know, if, if again, I'm, I'm you know, I, I can't say who's going to win between Georgia and Michigan. I can't, I can't tell you because, you know, Georgia doesn't have an offense. They're just a defense, right? They're like me and Madden. I, I focus all my, all my cap room on defense. Um, I, if Georgia and Bama both make it, I think Georgia's going to use this as a redemption game, but I still think Bama's going to win in the end. I think, you know, Bama, Bama's Bama. Bama's going to do what Bama does. So, uh, overall, I think Bama's going to win again. Um, that's my pick. Yeah. Um, mine is I, I have Michigan and Alabama, and this is going to be Bryce Young's first national championship. And I don't know with as young as a senior. He's, a, he's only a sophomore. He's a sophomore. Really? He's only yeah. a wow. sophomore. And – 
it's going to be very interesting to see how he plays at that level and to see – I know young quarterbacks generally don't play well in the college football championship. So I actually have Michigan winning in an absolute thriller classic against Alabama. I truly believe this is Michigan's year. If you've watched them play, they are just a very solid team, and I think they could do it. That's quite a wild take, to be honest. Uh, it is a very wild take, and I will full if I'm wrong, I will fully I will apologize to both of you apologize. on the next show we There's do. There's nothing to apologize about. Yeah, it's just hey, a take. I mean, it is a take, but it is a outrageous take, I can say. So, like we said earlier, Bryce Young's insane. He, he's an insane talent. He Freaking broke the athlete. SEC uh, uh, record for the SEC championship game. He threw for 421 yards on one of the best defenses in NCAA history. Mm. Um, Bama's so good. Uh, other than that, they're, they're better offense usually beats better defense. That just happens in, in football. Um, Bryce Young, if he can step up again without John Mechie, then then they'll win the game. Um, but I'll tell you what, like a dominant defense uh, in, in, in Michigan. Bama's made the, the playoffs seven out of eight years. But I'll tell you what, you know what I'm doing right now? I'm picking Michigan to win the national championship. Whoa! John Harbaugh Whoa! Saban. Whoa! Nick Saban is getting beat by John Harbaugh. Michigan's winning. They're going to win 35 to 28. I'm guaranteeing it right now. <laughs> okay, you're hyping me up. Hey. I'm, I'm going to start rooting for Michigan. Let's go, Michigan! Yeah. Hey, Michigan. Hey, I got to say, though, I feel like Michigan's defense is one of the most underrated defenses they, in yeah, all of college football. Yes. They showed that in the uh, the championship game against Iowa. Yeah, they did. That And Four, Iowa, Iowa upsets to, teams. To three, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. It was in, it was insane to see. And I'm I just think saying, I've been rocking with Michigan from the beginning. I'm just saying. I put that whole whoopsie daisy. I said that your take was wild. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and, then he, and then he – and then – Bryce Young, I mean, he struggled against Auburn's defense. And if Michigan can make him uncomfortable, I think they can win. Yeah, they absolutely. Win. That's what I think, yeah. too. If, if their, their defensive line is so good. The young quarterback. If they can get back to – yeah, he's a young quarterback, but he's also, like, one of the best young quarterbacks we've seen in a while. True. But, yeah, but if they can disrupt, disrupt Bryce Young, that's, like, the way to win the game for them. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, with that, let's move on to our next topic with two uh, – now let's, let's get some school spirit up in here. Uh, WSU bowl game. WSU's heading back. To the Sun Bowl in El Paso, Texas. Woohoo! Um, Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. <laughs> ah, um, against Miami. Uh, what do we think about this game, guys? What do we got going? It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a great one. Oh, we love how great it is in El Paso. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we played in the Sun Bowl, by the way, it snowed. It snowed against Miami. Yeah. 2015. Yeah, so we, yeah, 2015. We played against Miami last time, and we yeah. beat them 20 to 14. Yeah, yeah. that was a yeah, very. Yeah, I yeah. actually watched that game, and it was one of the more uglier games I have seen. Really? Yeah, it was playing in the snow, and both teams. I mean, Wazoo was a little used to snow, but Miami. Miami was not used to it, and it looked this? like it. What's this? <laughs> you had their quarterback slipping every like 14 seconds. It's like you coming here and you're just, you're just seeing the snow again. Yeah. And you're just excited, dude. Yeah, California kid. Snow! You know, the first thing I did, Snow Angel. You know, because I'm seven. We have it videotaped. We have it, we have it video. videotaped. Uh, uh, yeah. I so mean, what do we got going for this th game? This guys? is the first official game as head coach uh, for, mm, for, for Jake Dickert. Dickert. Yeah. And also uh, Mario Cristobal from Miami. Yeah. Moving from Oregon, they're going to Miami. Yeah. Which is wild, by the way. Wait, so he gets to coach in the bowl game? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. I, it's it's weird. Yeah. I, I, but, yeah, Delora got Pac-12 Offensive uh, Freshman of the Year. So that was impressive. He had 2,000 yards, 2,751 yards, 23 touchdowns, and nine interceptions. I think he's a really good quarterback. I think he's the future of the WC system, obviously. Uh, Max Borgie ended the season with a – well, it's not over yet, I guess. But he has over 1,000 yards and 12 mm -hmm. touchdowns. Um, Miami's two and a half point favorites. Uh, this game, by the way, is happening at 9 a.m. on on December 31st, yep. so New Year's Eve. So that's not exactly exciting. I, I want to yep. sleep in during my break, not wake up and watch a game. Uh, <laughs> in but El yeah, El Paso, Texas. Yeah, yeah. In <laughs> El Paso, <laughs> Texas. We're but roasting yeah, El Paso. I think WC will win this game convincingly. I think Jake yeah. Dickert is a very good head coach. He this defense is turned around. The offense is playing well in the Cougar Eight system. Um, they just hired a new offensive coordinator as well. I think WC is taking this game 34 to 24, and like wow. I said, okay. convincingly. Go. Yeah, and I agree with that. Um, I think I, my only question is, can Delora play well against Miami's defense? And Miami has always been well known. I know they haven't played that good this year, uh, but they're they're well they're well known for a really good defense. Mm -hmm. So it just we'll have to see how Delora plays against that because his decision making has been good as of late. But uh. with a bowl game, there's a lot more on the line, and I I, I wonder if the Wazoo's team chemistry is going to be the same if they're just going to take that Apple Cup win and not focus. 
I think they sh I think they'll be focused up, and I have them winning thirty one to ten against Miami. Okay. And El Paso, you are not that guy. <laughs> You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. <laughs> I, there's I the want, moment. I there thought, it is. I thought, one the Vegas, there, there's the 10 minute edit part of that I do. Um, <laughs> we wanted, we wanted, uh, we wanted the Vegas Bowl. We wanted the Holiday Bowl. We wanted anything near, but it's okay. Well, you know um, what? You know what? We like the symbol because it's yeah. great. You know. Great. Um, <laughs> uh, I have one more thing to say though. Yes, sir. Uh, you said that Max Boy has over a thousand yards, and I, I know he was kind of held back at the beginning of the year, kind of like just limited. Imagine if he had more carries and more time on the field. Yeah. Imagine what those stats would be. Yeah, he'd it go from a fourth round pick to a third round pick. It'd be insane. Yeah, and if our defense. <laughs> yeah. This guy, this guy has no positive. You think <laughs> Trevor Blunt is his name. You think he's Blunt. a fourth round pick? He's a fifth or a fourth round pick. Oh yeah. my gosh, wow. Yeah. All right, all right. Blunt. We'll see. Yeah, but uh, uh, Alex, what you got to say? Like you said, Miami is known to have a good defense, and the issue, I did not know this actually, that Cristobal is going to be able to coach Miami in the in the bowl game. Cristobal has had our number. Um, you know, this year there was a obliteration against Oregon. Uh, so, you know, going into that program right before the bowl game, he already knows how to stop us. Uh, now, the fact that he could, if the, the prop proposition, I don't even know what word I'm using, but if he can teach that team, to understand the ways that he used to stop Delora and Borgie and our weapons at uh, WCU, um, then we're in trouble. But I, I do think we have a very high chance of winning this game. Uh, as long as Delora, you know, uh, decision making is, you know, top tier. Uh, we give the ball to Borgie. Uh, Dicker, Dicker, I think, is a great coach. Um, he's, I mean, a great replacement, honestly. Like, just the energy and the aura around um, him on the field. The players love him. The fans love him. I, I just think it's a great energy all around. Uh, I, I do think uh, WSU can win this game. I'm going to say 28 because I'm going to go back to that number. I like that number. 28 to 21. So do we all have him winning? Yes. We all Across do the board. have him winning. Upset alert. Upset, That's right. baby. Um, yeah, back to what you are saying. He, he, the Oregon coach did not stop Borgie. We stopped Borgie. We did not give yes. him the ball. We gave him the ball ten times that game. And, and he and was the running. Ten time, the ten times that we gave him the ball, he was running the ball. He was running at least five yards per carry, right. which he was running all over that defense. We just we just fell behind early, and we had to go air raid for the rest of the game. Yeah. That type of deal. So with that, good luck, Cougs, um, because yes, we're not going to be able to talk about you guys. Sorry, <laughs> I, I'm hyped. <laughs> we're not going to be able to talk about you guys over break. So good luck, boys, uh, down in El Paso. Cries. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, go go Cougs on that one. Uh, next up, go Cougs. Sorry, hey, the bear got to say something. Did you have like an energy drink? No, I actually, I actually, I actually, I actually did not. I had a I diet you what, soda. We'll miss you, Cougs. The football team that is. Yeah. Don't do any like dumb storylines while we're gone, please. Or because we like, can't cover it. Yeah, well, or not even that, but just like don't do any dumb storylines. I'm talking to, about somebody here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, he throws the ball a little bit around here. Uh, just let's not do any of that. Let's stay. Let's stay like a, let's stay a good <laughs> team, and let's stay. Let's stay like, let's stay just steady. <laughs> All right, moving on to, to our next topic. We're gonna go into sneaky NFL picks, and um, this is this is where it's gonna get interesting. Uh, let's go with Trevor first. I'm going with Trevor first. Okay, I don't know how sneaky this team is. I'll do my AFC and then my NFC team. Okay. So I don't know how sneaky this team is, but it's the Colts. John, yes. Jonathan Taylor. I mean, it's a good one. You know what's weird is they're like the eighth seed in the AFC, but they'd be like the sixth seed in the NFC mm -hmm. right now. Uh, but yeah, Jonathan Taylor is leading the NFL in rushing with uh, 1,348 yards and 18 total touchdowns. Um, the man's unstoppable uh, with the help of his O line, of course. I mean, mm -hmm. like, come on, his O line's really Colts good. Colts yeah. line's great. They're yeah. one of the top in the league. And then Carson Wentz has had a really good season so far. I mean, 3,000 yards, 22 touchdowns, five, inter five interceptions. Under Frank Reich, he succeeds. So I think the Colts are a really sneaky pick. And then the other one, uh, the Dolphins. I, I think the Dolphins could sneak into the playoffs. They can't really make much noise in the playoffs, but I think they could sneak into the playoffs. Okay. They started off 1-7 and seven, and they, they won, won five straight games. Right. Yeah. They're, they're back. They're 6-7. Yeah. and seven. Two is good enough to lead a team, I think. Uh, and then their defense is just the Dolphins' defense with Brian Flores. They're, everything that wasn't connecting at the beginning of the year for them is now connected. Yeah. Right. 
Like, I, on the weekend wrap up, I was like, oh, yeah, they're going to fire Brian Flores. They're going to fl- fire yeah. Chris Greer. And then they win five straight games. Like, where does that come from? Mm-hmm. And I heard you. The NFC, uh, give me the current six seed in the NFC. The Washington football team, they're spicy, okay? They're, their defense, uh, it really has, it stepped up uh, recently. Uh, pretty much after the Chase Young injury, I think they were getting better around the Chase Young injury, and then they just kind of took off after the Chase Young injury. It's not because Chase Young is injured. Just seen it happen in that timeline of events. Um, but, yeah, they're getting healthy on offense. Heineke is playing ser- serviceable. They're, like I said, they're getting healthy with Anatoly Gibson, scary Terry McLaurin, Curtis Samuel, and J.D. McKissick all back. That's a lot of that's a lot of weapons on one offense. Mm-hmm. And then, they, oh, Logan Thomas tore his a- ACL and MCL, though. So that does suck. Yeah, it's going to have that tight end to rely on. True, true. And, and then the eight seeded Eagles, uh, they'll make the playoffs, in my, my opinion. Uh, Jalen Hurts with is a really good quarterback. Hurts? Jalen Hurts, yeah. yeah. Sirianni said he'll go back to Hurts. Yeah. Uh, plus, like, the thing with Minshew, okay, I'm about to, like, make a lot of Coug fans angry. Oh, the no. The thing with Minshew, no. when you put in a backup quarterback, the defense doesn't have time to prepare right. for the backup quarterback. M- Minshew went 1-15 last year on the Jags. That's not a surprise. But, like, it's the Jags. He got benched, too. Yeah, have a team. He got benched. The Jags are a bad team. Though. Yeah, but that's not just that, but, dude, just – when you put him in a backup quarterback, they don't have time to prepare. So it's like a backup quarterback syndrome. That w- that's what happened with Matt Flynn. He threw, what, six touchdowns back in 2011, and the Seahawks signed him for, like, $15 million. Mm-hmm. That happens with backup quarterbacks. Don't feed into that too much. I like Vinci as a guy. He's a cool guy. He's a cool quarterback. Kind of fun to watch. But, yeah, I mean, just calm down a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, but Jalen Hurts will lead them. Uh, their defense is so Damn. hot and cold. If they stay lukewarm, that will be good enough to make them and lead them to the playoffs. So, yeah, okay. those are my picks. I had the Colts, the Dolphins the Washington football team, and the Eagles. All right. Uh, mine are just like three. Uh, I might add a fourth team, I think, after what you had said. Uh, my first one, these first two are actually, I believe, in playoff spots, but I just have them in there because they're actually favored to digress out of the playoffs, which is one is the Chargers. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they haven't been playing well as of late, but I still think Herbert is the guy for that team. He just hasn't looked good as of late. I think he's going to go fix it all. Um what? As, uh, it's just as of late. As of late? Go ahead. Anyways. As of lately, <laughs> um, Herbert has not been as that late. guy for L.A., but he is um, – I think he's going to do better in the end of the year, and you got to watch out for that team because they still are a pretty talented team other than their defense. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh, have Bosa. Secondary. Secondary is good. but Yeah, but their front, front other than seven, Bosa, yeah. and yeah, it's Jeez. just not that, not that good. And then I have the Bengals. They uh, – that's right. They're not a Super Bowl They're team. They're not a Super Bowl <laughs> team. That's right. <laughs> but they're a sneaky playoff team. Let's get that out of the way. They are definitely a sneaky playoff team as the Bengals have. Uh, they have Joe Burrow playing great. Um, finally getting that good protection and having enough time to find Jamar Chase down the field, even though Jamar Chase hasn't played that good as of recently. But I think, like you said, they'll explode. I think – do I really want to say this? I, I, I think the Bengals could be in contention for the division. Because yeah, the Ravens yeah. are not playing that good. The Ravens good. are what eight and four right yeah. now, and the Bengals are seven and five. Yeah, yeah so they're absolutely. definitely. I th- and the Bengals are kind of on the uh, Bengals. The Ravens are kind of on the decline right now. Yeah, yeah, they definitely are. And Lamar's not looking good. So I think that's going to be interesting to follow at the end of the year to see where those two teams are. Because Pittsburgh and Browns, let's be real, I don't think that's yeah. going to go that well. Pittsburgh, like I think, is currently b- being blown out on Thursday Night Football, twenty nine to nothing. Last time I checked. So mm-hmm. it's, yeah, it's ooh. not that good. And. Ooh. Yeah, so I have them. And then in the NFC, I have Washington, the football team. Yeah. And they're just insane. Like, the they, have just, they have just <laughs> – yeah, the football team. They have just exploded, and they've beaten some pretty good teams, including the Bucks. So definitely yeah. watch out for them as they're currently at the sixth seed. Is that correct? Yeah, they're, they're tied the for seed. six. They're yeah. tied for six. Yeah. And, yeah. and then I got to add the Colts. Uh, Carson Wentz has just looked a lot better. I, I knew I, – I had always thought he was never the problem in Philly. I thought that whole system was messed up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm glad to see him doing well. And then Jonathan Taylor, I'm sad I didn't pick up him in fantasy again because he did me well last year, and he just is exploding this year. So look out for the Colts. They'll, I think they are still somewhat in contention for the division, but if not, they could sneak in okay. the playoffs. And those are my teams. All right, my teams. We got AFC. We're going to start with the Bengals just because, you know, I said it last time. I'm going to still say it again. Bengals, I'm rocking with Joe Burrow. Uh, he's playing very well. Joe, uh, Jamar Chase is kind of on the decline lately, but you know, at the beginning of the season, he was, you know, he was rookie, rookie of the year. Uh, it's not like he's playing now, uh, bad now. He's not he playing was... bad. He's just, you know, he's not as explosive as he was at the beginning of the year. Yeah, exactly. He started 
at the top. You know, he's starting to kind of level out, and you're starting players are starting to see where his play level's at, play style. Um, I have the Bengals, uh, who also are in the sixth spot right now. So, you know, technically they're still in the playoffs, but I feel like they could stay in that area. Uh, and then I'm going to add on the Colts as well. The Colts, uh, I'm a huge Carson Wentz supporter. Love, I've, had, I've loved Carson Wentz since the beginning. Everybody, you know, everybody was, um, was bagging on him. But, you know, he is such a great quarterback. Um, like, to like, he's fun to watch. Like, if you, you watch him in Philly before the injury, he was such a great – he was mobile in the pocket. Like, he was able to aware, – aware of what was going on around him. But the issue is, is he makes very poor decisions sometimes. So, like, those five interceptions that he has this season, probably some of the worst interceptions I've ever seen. Like, it's just also, like, terrible. What you were saying before the injury, that was five years ago. Five years ago, That's right. That's the issue, though. You know, it's like – Yeah. And then like, after the injury, you know, it didn't – I mean, he wasn't great, you know. But, like, I still feel like he wasn't, again, the issue. Four years ago. That's my bad. Four? Four years Four ago. Four years Yeah. Regardless of the time. I still don't think he was the issue. Um, the Colts, he's doing great on the Colts right now. Uh, has a great receiving core. You got Pittman, you have Pascal. Um, who's, who's the tight end? The tight end's uh, not, he, the Colts, not Ebron. Mo Ali Cox. The Colts. the Colts. Yeah, Mo Ali Cox. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. All right, yeah. Uh, you have Cox, and then, you know, Jonathan Taylor carrying the team. Great running back. I mean, his, he's the next Mar Marshall Falk, in my opinion. I think he's amazing. Jo who, Jonathan Taylor? Yeah. I think they have a whole different skill set, though. Uh, isn't it, they, weren't they like a speed power back though? Yeah, but Falk caught the ball a lot. That's Jonathan true. Jonathan Taylor. I think yeah, Naheem Hines is more the receiving back. Yeah, I think I think Taylor's caught the yeah. ball like 16 times this this year so far, and we're in what 14 weeks now. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. All right. Well, regardless, he's he's doing great. He's stuff. a pure runner. He's he's more like an Adrian Peterson. That's, yes, that's that's a good comparison. Yes, he's he's which Adrian Peterson. Congratulations on scoring. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, it was against record. my team, but congratulations on scoring again. Uh, for the Seahawks. Uh, uh, so I Colts, Bengals, AFC, NFC. We're going with the Niners, baby. The Niners. We're back. We're coming back. We're going to, I don't think we're going to the NFL championship. Um, but we are going to be in the – don't do it. We are, <laughs> we, are in, to, mm. we are in the playoffs. We're tied for six with Washington, which is the other team I'm uh, vouching for in these sneaky picks. Um, the Niners, you know, I'm – it's the issue right now is Debo is hurt, and we've been plagued by injuries the last two seasons. Isn't he back this week? I don't think he's back. This, I think he's back one, uh, next week. Okay. He's, he was out for like two or three weeks, I think. Um, but you know, he may be back. I, I guess maybe I missed that. But I saw la last I heard he was out for two to three weeks. Um, so the Niners, you know, I, it's very exciting to see them winning again. Uh, I don't think you know we're a serious threat in the NFC. I do think you know we're kind of back in the middle again. Uh, so, you know, next year, hopefully if we can you know, survive injuries, uh, get a good draft class, draft some offensive linemen, um, I think, you know, we'll be, we'll be good, set next year. Uh, and then in NFC, we also have Washington football team, which they've been uh, on the rise, like you said, since uh, the Chase Young injury. Um, they've, you know, they're beating big teams. They beat the Buccaneers. They beat the, uh, the, the, did they beat, it wasn't the Cowboys. It was, yeah, it was, it was the Cowboys, right? No. It was, it was a blue team. It was, it was a blue team? I thought they beat the blue. Was the, I could have sworn that. I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm talking about anymore. All right. The regardless, Seahawks. They beat the Seahawks. Yeah, but that's not like a uh, yeah, major yeah, team. Regardless, I have Washington, and I have uh, the Niners. I also have the Bengals and Colts. See, I, so don't, I don't hate that Niners pick. I think the Niners are a good team. I just don't think Jimmy Garoppolo is a good enough quarterback. Oh. This is gonna. I just don't. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Jimmy. Oh this my man gosh. said Trey Lance is not the future. And He's not. I, not the at the moment. I don't think Trey Lance should be starting this, at the moment. He give, might be the only person in the world who thinks that. Give him time to develop, but you have to. You, give you him have time to, to develop, but not starting right now. Yeah, he I, shouldn't be starting. But right you now. have to realize Garoppolo has not lived up to the hype he had. The thing is, there was never the, hype around there Garoppolo. There was definitely no, hype. No, he was playing is, behind Tom Brady. The thing is. Okay, this is this is the whole thing with the Niners and getting traded for 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 Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh. It's kind of a conspiracy, kind of not. So they called they called the the Patriots. And they're like, okay, we want Tom Brady, and they said, nah, we don't want to give you Tom Brady. Here's what about this guy, Jimmy Garoppolo? And the Niners are like, ah, sure. Here's a second round pick, trade for Jimmy Garoppolo. He looked really good for his first what was that, like three, four, six Two weeks? Seasons. Oh, before he got injured towards ACL. Right. Look, yeah. looked really good towards the ACL. Uh, and then came back, 
uh, game managed them all the way to the Super Bowl. They won they made it to the Super Bowl. They lost. But yeah, that's how they got Jimmy Garoppolo. I don't think Kyle Shanahan. He wanted Kirk Cousins before Jimmy Garoppolo. He wanted to sign Kirk Cousins. I so I think Cousins. I think at every at any point Kyle Shanahan wanted Jimmy Garoppolo. He just ended up with Jimmy Garoppolo. I like Kirk Cousins. I think he would have been a great fit on the Niners. I mean. I don't think he's the problem in Minnesota. I've never thought that. I don't think so either. He's yeah. one of the best quarterbacks I, I in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's I, – I just don't think yeah. Garoppolo is the issue with the Niners. I'm, yeah. I'm, he's the one is top in He's not the one issue. He's not the one he's issue. Not, but it's the main issue that everybody points out is because he's the quarterback. But you can't be the only issue of the team if you're, because you're the quarterback. It doesn't matter. The defense, if you watch the games, you watch the defense, this defense is so undisciplined. This Niner defense is so undisciplined. I love D'Amico Ryans. He was a great player. But uh, Robert Sala uh, – Sala, Sala – I. I despise you right now. You left. Leaving you left a great days. situation in San Francisco. I get you want more money, uh, in to be a head coach. But look where you're at right now. You're at the Jets. Look what you're doing with the team. Nothing. You're doing absolutely nothing, and you're making money off of it. You're probably going to get fired Three if not this nine. year, next year. Hey, he you know? do. He do he's have to get fired yeah. this year. And what are you talking yeah, about? Next year, they're going to give him many years. He's going to have like four I think, or five. I, years. I, he I, has I, two first rounders to pick with. If he can't succeed with those, he doesn't. Yeah, after next year, Seahawks if, if, pick that ha they have right now is like a top five pick. It's its fourth pick right now, and the Jets are fifth. I think. Yeah, <laughs> so if, like, I'm just saying. There. I'm just well, saying. No, if the Jets don't succeed next year, I don't think he's staying, and I don't think the he's going to come back to the Niners. I think that was a terrible decision by him. I, you know, you, it, like more money. You're getting paid millions to be a head, a defensive coordinator for a team that is in a great position for you. You leave, that team goes to crap, and you go to a crap team. Like what? See, so you're, what is the you plan might be there? wrong there. Not all defensive coordinators or coordinators make like millions of dollars. So his pay his pay grade just went up a ton. And he's setting up his family for life. So you got to look at other personal decisions on top of football. I don't know. I'm I mean, just, success is obviously a big part. And, I mean, he went to the Super Bowl. Maybe that's what he wanted to do. We're he got so to go to the Super Bowl. And if we could have returned, we could, we really could have. At the end There's of the day, There's no discipline on the Seahawks. Uh, this last week against the Seattle the Seahawks, we were missing Dre Greenlaw and Fred Warner. Now, that's not a – Dre Greenlaw's not a major, you know, because uh, Aziz Alshair has been a great – you know, he's come out of nowhere. He's really produced this year out, out of the backup spot. But Fred Warner, when he's gone, there's no discipline whatsoever. He's the defensive captain. He's the only one left that kind of keeps everyone under control. You know, Josh Norman, I love you, man. You're, you're leading the league in forced fumbles. But, dude, you are a punk, man. Like, you just causes penalties. Yeah. One after the other. He There's no discipline. So that's the issue with the Niners. We can go on this debate for Yeah, forever, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry. I talk a lot about the Niners because I, I hate yeah. the hate on Jimmy Garoppolo because I don't think he's the issue. I really don't. He's had, he's, you know, he's had a pretty good season, honestly. He, he, he really has. Because, like, last week, you know, two interceptions – Sure, two interceptions, but he also threw for 300 yards, 20 completions, and two touchdowns. So I think, you know, that's – it's not it's not his fault. I really don't think so. Um, but, you know, I'm getting a little heated. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Let's move on to super, uh, some NFL championship game picks. Super Bowl picks. Super Bowl picks. Woo. Our as Trevor would say. Copyright strikes. All right. Um, yeah. We're going to go into Super Jimmy Bowl picks. Jimmy Garoppolo, by the way. Say that again. Jimmy Garoppolo has thrown for 15 <laughs> touchdowns and eight interceptions with 2,600 yards. That's not that great of a season. That's actually a pretty bad season. Well, he also didn't play three of those games. I'm just saying. Yeah. And, and our receivers kept getting hurt. Yeah. And, and back they, when you and, said and with and their they, defense. And we're more run-based, <laughs> run-heavy With de your offense. defense, you guys did get three turnovers. We do. You guys did but get the turnovers. Okay, but look at the penalties. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. I hey, just, I'm I just, just saying. Y'all had the chance to win the game on the Let's offense. Let's move on. Man. Let's move on. Let's move on. Hey, okay. Super Bowl Fair picks. enough. Let's Super, Super Bowl picks. NFL championship game picks. Super Bowl picks. We're allowed to say Super Bowl now. Uh, We're allowed since? to say Super Bowl now. Whatever. Okay. We got the permission but by Sheesh, Squabbo says. The Stop it. Only. Oh, you want me to go first? You go first. Okay, so last time I said Bucks and Chargers. I'll be honest. I kind of said that on a win. <laughs> <laughs> I know the Bucs are a good team, but, like, uh, uh, Justin Herbert, uh, I got caught up in his long blonde hair, his beautiful eyes. It's because your hair massive, is long. You're like, oh, I'm going to go with the long hair. His massive shoulders. arm. Arm. <laughs> there we go. His massive arm. <laughs> he is a cannon. Uh, yeah, I got caught up in that. But, uh, yeah, I, I, the, the Pats are back at one. That's terrifying. Um, I think the Chiefs. So their defense hasn't allowed over 20 points in the last few months since early October. So that's excellent. They went from one of the worst defenses in NFL history to a good defense. So if Patrick Mahomes can, like, even 
snap out of a little spell that that uh, his, his wife put him in or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> and his brother, <laughs> his TikTok brother. Oh my gosh, that that I, family is hard to watch. If he can snap out of that, man, then, then, then people I do people that. think he should pull on Aaron Rodgers. No, he should not. You should not. <laughs> Love your family, Pat. You're fine, buddy. <laughs> everyone, everyone, you should see Twitter. So, oh, yeah, my in the, gosh. In the, in the ACI, the Chiefs winning, I, I think they're just a good enough team. They're a well-coached team as well. In the NFC, I have the Bucs or the Packers. That's, that's the last, last year's NFC championship game. If Aaron Rodgers can play well enough uh, and their defense can stay serviceable, then, then they can make it to the Super Bowl. But the Bucs, they just need to get healthy. They have a good offensive team. They're really, like, loaded with weapons. The defense is good if they're healthy. So if they get healthy, uh, then then they'll make it in the Super Bowl. I, I guess I'm taking a rematch. I'm taking the, the Chiefs versus uh, Tampa Bay, and I'm taking the really? Chiefs to win that game. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think the Chiefs would win that three game. Three in a row. 38 to 27. Yeah. Yeah. My pick is uh, the same as it's been for the past three years. Yeah, the Packers and Chiefs. Uh, Chiefs. I, I, Chiefs. 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 I love, I love Chiefs. myself some Chiefs. It. Chiefs. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Onion and but, Chiefs. Uh, <laughs> But uh, with the Packers, um, they're they're a really good team, and I, this is the best I've seen the Packers in the past six years, where their defense is clicking and their offense is clicking. And yeah. you, they haven't played their best games, but they still win by a good margin. Imagine if everything clicks: the running game, the passing game, and the defense. If all of that clicks, they are one of the best teams, if not <laughs> but the best if team. But imagine Rodgers gets COVID right before. Right before the game. Oh, oh. Joe Rogan has his back. Yeah. Joe Rogan has his back. Hey, he was immunized with something else. We don't. We don't know what it was. <laughs> but he was eating the ivermectin and enjoying the. the <laughs> we don't know what. He had something. He claims, but uh, the Packers. Yeah, if they everything clicks, they're definitely a Super Bowl team. And I know they're very notorious for n- losing the NFC Championship game. So hopefully that doesn't happen for another year in a row. Yeah. But um, and then the Chiefs, hilarious. like you said, they're Why just the Chiefs. It's okay. Just let them go. Let them go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go. We should mute this guy <laughs> respectfully. And um, <laughs> so they're just a they're just a good team. You can never count out Patrick Mahomes. Um, well, okay. Yeah. Wait. By the way. By the way, on camera, we're gonna confirm this because he did shake no, my hand. this hands. terrifies me. Because what am I getting? Inter- what am I getting <laughs> if, internship? If the Chiefs win the Super Bowl, Trevor Junt shook. Let's shake hands right now. I'm not doing it. I'm not shaking my hands. He I shook don't know my hand at about. the Cape Late Banquet. Yeah. That if the Chiefs win the Super Bowl, he will cut his hair to the Patrick Mahomes haircut. I said Chiefs, so I didn't shake <laughs> Shut <up>, man. <laughs> oh my god. We gosh. shook on it. So back to what so I'm saying. I don't remember that. Okay. Though. Before I was interrupted. Back to what I was saying about the. <laughs> If this man interrupts me one more time, <laughs> oh my! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Back to what I was saying about Kansas City. They're just. <laughs> oh, we're gonna keep on the clock. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Back to what I was saying about Kansas City before Alex went sicko mode. <laughs> And Obama. Um, that is what you want to say. They're just a really good team, as back to what you were saying. Yeah. They're just a really good team. Uh, if everything clicks back with them, they haven't played up. T- <laughs> just keep going. On. You got to. Okay. If everything clicks, they're just going to be a Super Bowl team, and I think, and I think the Packers are going to win the Super Bowl. The Packers. What's the score? Yeah. Uh, I got, I got, I got thirty-one to twenty-eight, okay. in, a cl- in a Super Bowl classic. Back to you, Alex. <laughs> oh, I also have something else to say. <laughs> oh, dude. This is a great show. This is one of the best shows so far. Oh, show. oh my gosh. All right. Um, my, Wait, national, what's your pick? my National Football League Championship game. Ooh, Super Bowl. Pick. <laughs> <laughs> my picks, I got the Chiefs. Versus the Cardinals. Cardinals, I've been running with since day one of Kuga on the Clock. I don't think you said that right. What? <laughs> I don't think you said that right. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> All right, let's go out. Cardinals beating Hard. the Chiefs, I think. Um, what are you doing? So I, was, I was zipping up my mouth and throwing it. Oh, my gosh. Uh, you had to reopen it, dang it. <laughs> okay. Finish, At on. the Cardinals over the Chiefs, I think the Cardinals have a great thing going in Arizona. Uh, I think uh, – 
Uh, Cliff Kingsbury is, you know, finally. I don't know the Cardinals. I think they're like criminally underrated. I know they're ten and two right now. But people do not talk about how good they are. I know enough. Yeah. No, they're they're the team to beat. They yeah. in the NFC. They are the team to beat. Rams Cardinals on Sunday. That'll be. Oh, I think it's Monday. I Each, this weekend. I don't sure. think. Yep. Yeah, I don't think the Rams are. No, no. But I'm just saying the Rams Cardinals will be fun to watch. Yeah. Like, it is. No, no, no. Yeah. The first in the first game. It w- I mean, well, no. The Cardinals blew them out. I think the first game, right? Yeah, they yeah. blew them out. Yeah, right? it wasn't even close. Yeah, I, I mean Murray the Rams. Ran over them. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the Rams are the team I thought they were at the beginning of the season. Uh, so I'm gonna go with the Cardinals NFC, um, and then the Chiefs in the AFC. And you know the Chiefs returning for the third year in a row. The Chiefs just took a sweep. Yeah, I think the Cardinals um, are winning it at all. Uh, and I'm, I would, I'm kind of mad that Larry Fitz is not part of that team. Hopefully they can sign him before the game or something. They can just, you know, like, hey, you're the I water heard, boy. I heard a rumor that saying if they won the Super Bowl, they'd still give him a ring. Yeah, but he didn't. He didn't he I know didn't. he didn't play, but they'd still give him a ring. I would feel bad about getting that ring, honestly. He's a, he's a participation. Yeah, right. Like, that, that would suck, it's just, it's just a Cardinals legend. I just think it's out of respect. He is a, no, he is a Cardinals legend. So, like, yeah. it, it's kind of sad that Carson he won't be Palmer part of Palmer is team. in their ring of honor. Should he yeah. get that ring, too? No, I mean, I yeah, but yeah, but Larry Fitz's been there since what '96? I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Or 2003 or something like that. I don't remember. Something He's been there weird. for a while. Like he was he was there when the turf was just like a flat piece of carpet, yeah. basically. He was there before Emmett uh, with Emmett Smith on the Cardinals. Like he was there for a long time. Yeah. Um, I like what you talk like say about the Cardinals. Josh McCown they was first starter. they are a really good team. Mm-hmm. The Cardinals are a really They're good team. They're a really good team. But the one thing that does worry me is that they played the Packers when most of their star players were out and they still lost. I just don't know. Like, it just scares me when it, the Cardinals had their full lineup against Rodgers and nobody. And Rodgers was still able to win that game. I know Cardinals through that whole video game play of A.J. Green yeah, saying. that was ridiculous. I don't understand. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? <laughs> So it was just <laughs> <laughs> so much energy. In this. It was just like it was just kind of crazy. So that just kind of scares me. That's mm-hmm. why I didn't pick them. But I could see if I if they did make the Super Bowl, I would not be surprised. Sorry. Well, uh, yeah. So I got Cardinals. So yeah, I had Cardinals. Who'd you have? The Chiefs and Packers. Well, who who would you have winning? Uh, Packers. Packers. So this is the last official on camera vote. So we got Cardinals, Packers, and Chiefs. Chiefs. So you know, one of us hopefully will win something. You know. What's your guys' scores? I have 38-27. 31-28 Packers. Forty-two to thirty-eight. Ah, wow! Wow, a high scoring affair. Yeah. I respect that. Yeah. So, because I don't think both of those are powerhouse offenses. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I I don't I think I either it. defense is really something. But I mean, the Cardinals' defense I think is definitely better than the Chiefs' defense. But you know, nothing spectacular about both. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, at least. So with that, uh, let's wrap up the show, guys. You know, uh, we'll it's been uh, you know, thank you for sitting and watching the show this has been a very long show but you know what it's the last episode so who cares um thank you again for the great semester uh we had a great cast come on the show thank you to vaughn thank you to drew thank you to derek uh mcguire at the beginning of the semester um who else we have austin, austin jerica jacoby. jerica jacoby are we doing are we naming all the staff i don't know yeah brendan who, who else <laughs> we got uh uh, <laughs> Sam, uh, Sam. Uh, Sam. buddy Sam. Sam. We have so many. We have so many people. Uh, uh, Drew, Drew as well. I said Drew. Wow. We have Brinkley, a lot of people. Damien. Yeah. You guys have been great. Um, yeah. uh, uh, Squabo. We had a guy for three weeks. He was really good. Yeah. <laughs> we. <laughs> <laughs> thank a, you. That was a subtle shot. Thank, <laughs> thank you so much for a great semester uh, to our staff and to you guys, the viewers. Um, hope you guys have a wonder, wonderful break. Happy holidays, and go Cougs. Go Cougs. Go Cougs. We're excited for next semester. That's right. Yes, hey, speaking of which, do we want to talk about the surprise? Sure. Well, sure. I don't know what the oh, surprise should we talk about the is. Surprise? The, 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 uh, the new. Oh, sure. sure. All yeah, right. So uh, poss- quite possibly either next semester or next year. I think it will be next semester. Probably next, next semester. Next semester, we will be rebranding, actually, uh, to Big news. Wazoo Sports Network, WSN. So be on the lookout. We'll probably post some stuff on our Instagram about that. Um, Get some new gear. Yeah, new gear. So we have, we're, we have, we're expanding. We have, we're going to have five shows. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gunner is becoming a producer. That's right. Yeah, no, but thank, the, I'm very blessed to, to be a producer, so I'll so. be very excited about that moving on forward. I'll definitely be back on the show as much as I can, but with now being producer, I can't promise that, but I'll definitely try to be back as much as I can. But I love being on this show and every second of it. So thank you, Cougs, who watched. I appreciate and love all of you. Awesome. Go Cougs. Go, Go Cougs. Cougs. Merry Christmas.